Casey, founder of DreamYard. Can you tell us a little bit about when you first got this in 2013, like where it started to where it is now? Uh, yeah, it kind of just started as like a spine mini ramp with a, a box and 10 foot quarters. And then just kept adding on from there. Next we did dirt and then just kept adding on to the ramp and somehow it evolved into this. It's insane. I'm really excited because not only do you have the sickest BMX features ever here in a pool and a two-story Victorian house, but I hear you got a lot of animals on the property. Yeah, we got quite a few animals. Can we go check it out? Yeah, you can come check them out. Let's do this. This is the chicken coop and the pig pen. I don't think I've ever seen a chicken coop under a ramp before. There's some eggs, there's some eggs in here. All righty, we're here on the farm with Bacon. Bacon, this is very exciting. X Games, the largest action sports events here in your backyard. Can you tell us a little bit about the excitement on the farm? Very wise, back to you. Here you go, here's some eggs for you. Oh, solid. <laughs> farm to table, farm fresh, eggs. All right, we're here with the woman of the house, Pat's wife, Chase. What's going on with the pool area? What's gonna go down over here? This is the party area. Okay. So pool area, and then right underneath the balcony will be for friends and family. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming with me on the tour of Dream Yard. It's my lunch break. It is time, farm to table. Time to get back to the eggs games. Oh yeah, who's hungry? Welcome everyone to Riverside, California. It's X Games 2021, and we are here at Pat Casey's house, what he calls the dream yard, as he hosts Dave Mira's BMX Park Best Trick. Hello everyone, Jimmy Coleman here, standing alongside Scotty Kramer here in the booth. Jack Matrani is our field reporter, and well, this is always one of my favorite events when it comes to BMX, because these guys get to go out here and just send it. They get to make up some crazy moves, and as we go into this, let's talk about a couple of standouts here. Daniel Sandoval, that guy has such a deep bag of tricks, insane firepower when it comes to best trick comps. His biggest issue today is going to be deciding on which trick he's actually going to be putting in this competition today, because he's got the double decade unlock, he's got the multiple flare variations that nobody in the world is doing besides him so he's got some decisions to make but I'm sure he'll figure it out you know with the jam session format you're gonna get a couple of chances to get out there and absolutely send it speaking of sending who better to do that than the guy that created this it's in his backyard Pat Casey the dream yard is Pat Casey's creation if you've seen any of his videos you know what he is capable on this backyard ramp and if he brings any of those into play today man he could be at the top and an exciting one to watch Ryan Williams we're used to seeing him in big air but he gets to showcase his talents here in park best trick your mind will be blown that's all I got to say about this one with Ryan Williams So what it all comes down to is a 20 minute jam session out here. There's no podium. It is winner take all. And if you win, you take home the gold pedal. Taking a look at that start list. We've got Jacob Thiem, Jay Tui, Ryan Williams, Jacob Bailey, Pat Casey, Jeremy Malat, Daniel Sandoval, and your winner in 2019, Mike Varga. Well, Scotty, what's the mindset coming into this one here? What's awesome about this event is you have to focus on one trick. You don't have to plan out a run. So these guys get to bring their A game and this is going to be tricks that maybe they've never brought out in real life before so we could be in for a huge treat. And it basically comes down to the best attempt here. And as we go through this, you're not going to see scores. We don't even know who's in the lead at this point. The judges, they're watching the action and they're talking it over. There's going to be a big reveal at the end of the competition. So no one knows until the very end. And we hand out that gold pedal. We started off with an X Games rookie. This is Jacob Thiem. Uh, he actually moved to California in January of this year, lives with Daniel Sandoval. He came here as an alternate. He now finds himself starting the competition here. Jacob Thiem has been killing it on Instagram, just seeing his progression, all the tricks that he's been doing. I'm so excited and curious to see what he's going to be bringing today. Whoa, that was a 360 quadruple tail whip right there. <laughs> What a way to start out the best trick competition. I can't tell if that's a dog barking back there, if that's the chickens or what. You saw that with Jack and Pat talking about all the different animals that they have out here. But man, what a great way to start that off. He was super pumped about that one. That might have been his headset season up from all the friction right there. So we take a look at Jay Tui right here. This is his second ever X Games appearance. And this guy, he's another one who has some serious firepower when it comes to best trick competitions. Such a unique approach to the style of his tricks. 
He's a switch to three right there, so that means he's gonna do a tail whip variation. Oh, so that was a switch, uh, triple tail whip. That's what he was going for right there. So a tail whip the opposite direction. That's uh, very hard to do. Not many in the people, not many people in the world would be attempting that. So again, it's a 20 minute jam session clock. They are going to run in order of the start order that we presented at the top of the show. You can see there just under 19 minutes. We're just getting underway here. That is Ryan Williams. Now we've seen him in BMX Big Air events. And this is the first time he gets to compete in a different discipline when it comes to BMX at the X Games. I'm so excited to see Ryan Williams riding today. You can hear him talking to himself. He gets, he's his own hype man, and I love that. But here we go on this hit. Whoa, the awesome roll! He just threw a double backflip 360. <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. Do you see the look on his face? He stands up. Oh my God, dude. He's looking at everybody else there on the deck. Pat Casey was in a bit of shock right there. Did you see the pop that he had on that? I'm so glad he's in this event because, yes, he is the mega rider, but he is so talented on his bike, and I'm so excited for to see what he's going to be doing today. Because if he lands this, he's going to do even more. This is Temecula, California's Jacob Bailey in for his first attempt. Oh man, so I've heard some rumors of what Jacob Bailey wants to do today. As you can see, he just did a backflip on that open loop. So Jacob Bailey is a tough rider, and you have to be if you're going to be hanging out with Pat Casey because there is nobody tougher than Pat. Jacob Bailey wants to send something crazy crazy on that setup right there. And I think that was a feel out because I know he's riding with an injured knee right now. So he's just trying to get the blood flowing, just getting ready to send it. I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but we will let it develop. Well, taking a look at Pat Casey here. This is his backyard. So nobody knows this entire park setup better than him. So we'll see what he brings to the party here in his first attempt here. Dave Mira, BMX Park, best trick. Looks like Pat's gonna do something to step up. Whoa, okay, what's he setting up for? I do not know. But if I, if I have a little bit of a hunch, I think we could see a 540 double tail on a box jump, meaning landing fakie, and I don't think anybody's ever done that before. That, that, I can't even wrap my head around that right now. Like, I hear the words coming out of your mouth, but I cannot process that in my brain, Scotty. Not many people can, except for that guy right there. So under 17 minutes to go here in this jam session. This is Jeremy Malat, another X Games rookie out of Havasu City, Arizona. Kind of splits time back and forth between Havasu City and California riding with Daniel wow. Sandoval. So that was a 540 double tail up right there. So I've seen him recently on Instagram do a 540 double tail to late bar spin. So maybe that's what he's setting up for. But it's amazing that he could just drop in and just send that. Look how smooth this is. There he goes, two tail ups coming around, and he's in perfect control, but he's got to time that and get an extra trick in there. So that's just my hunch, though. There's a lot of time left to go here. Again, it's a jam session. It's uh, best run that counts, and again, no scoring. This is all a secret to the very end. The judges were, will reveal the winner as we bring in Daniel Sandoval, who we talked about at the top of the show. And like I said earlier, he's got a big decision to make of which trick he's going to unleash. I'm not sure what's coming, but it looks like it's going to be something over this big step up. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. I God. can't believe that he almost just landed that Holy, trick right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm in a loss for words right now. Wow. We need to see oh a replay so I can break this down for you. Look at this. It's a decade to a bar spin. So pretty much a decade to a truck driver late downside tail up, which is a form of a decade. That's wild because that's insane. <laughs> and he got his feet back on the pedals. And I'm going to be honest with you. I've seen him do a lot of oh. tricks lately. I haven't seen that one unleashed yet. That is a new one. And he is on the verge of pulling that. I, I don't I'm rendered speechless after watching that right there. Mike Varga, your winner. Dave Mears Park best trick in Minneapolis in 2019. <laughs> so he's setting up right now. So Mike Varga just spun a 900 casually. Let me go put that out there out of that quarter pipe. I spoke with Mike and he would love to do the first 1260 on a quarter pipe. He's done it before from a quarter pipe to a mulch landing setup, but to land it on a quarter pipe, it's going to be insane. So a quarter of the time has elapsed here in the jam session clock. 
five down, just under 15 left to go as we go back up to the top of the order and bring back in X Games rookie Jacob Thiem. Oh, so close to that quad whip 360. He's catching it. It's just he's got to be able to get the bike back under him a little bit. But if you look at his back wheel, his tire is completely blown off the rim. So he's gonna get have to get to work to get ready for the next run. Yeah, he's gonna have to send that one over to Athlete Staging, and uh, they're gonna have to go NASCAR pit crew, pit crew style on that one to get him back into the rotation. And go back to Jay Tui. Did the world's first backflip triple tail whip. <laughs> Did you see Pat Stone in the in the in the, in the bottom part there, Jake? He went around. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't distract him. <laughs> that might be an X Games first. Oh, there's a switch triple whip, I believe. So I, I, I talked to him before. He would love to do a switch quadruple tail whip. Chill a little bit, huh? <laughs> I think that was in English, <laughs> Australian English maybe. So look at that, there's a triple tail coming around, but his, it's a switch direction, so. Nicely done there for J2. Well, Ryan Williams is in X Games mode, and we are trending on TikTok to all of our fans out there. If you want to join in, check out the X Games mode hashtag challenge and show us what happens when you're on X Games mode. Let's take a look at some practice from Ryan here at Pat's Dream Yard earlier in the week. He just did a 540 flare in board shorts. It looks like he just came straight out of Pat's pool. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Right, we, we mentioned that his first run, first time competing in the next game's discipline besides BMX Big Air. By the way, he holds three gold medals in a row in that event. So I think he's going to be bringing this Aussie roll again. It's a double back for 360. Let's see if he can make it happen this time. Oh, so close. He's closer. He started to ride away. Oh, man. <laughs> He wants it so bad. He, he, there was a look of like disappointment of himself on that one, but because when you're that close to landing the trick and you blow your feet off, you're just like, oh, come on. But let's get a replay. We got to break this down for you guys. Look at this. He leaves, he spins a 360 flip, and then the last flip is a straight back flip technically. So he's almost at 360 completely when he is straight back up, upside down on that second rotation. But look at that, he had it. Everything was looking good. His feet were on the pedals, but he just landed a bit abrupt. <laughs> I don't know who he just gave that look to, but. <laughs> That's the best I say. After his, he just mean mugs, whoever's got the camera up there, he's like, okay, okay, next go around. Jacob Bailey back in. This is his third X Games appearance. We saw him in Minneapolis in 2018 in dirt and 2018 in dirt at Sydney X Games. Here it is, guys. He's setting up again. Here's the backflip. And I know right now you guys are probably wondering what's happening. And the truth is, he has an injured knee. I saw him yesterday with a knee brace on. I didn't even think he was riding. But like I said earlier, he is Pat's best friend. And if you're going to hang out with Pat, you got to be tough because Pat's the toughest guy out there. He wants to get this one. I think he has it in him. He's just waiting until the time's right. Just getting the blood flowing a little bit, waiting for everything to set in until it feels right, and then he's going to unleash. Speaking of Pat, here he is back in for attempt number two. He has five events that he's competing at over the span of 27 oh. hours out here at X Games 2021. And one of them's on a dirt bike, and I didn't even know he rode dirt bikes. But, oh, yeah, four BMX that, events, and then he's going to pack it up and head down to Axel Hodge's house to go ride in 110s. Another X Games rookie in the mix here, Jeremy Malat, 24 years old out of Havasu City, Arizona. Here he goes to that quarter pipe like we were talking about earlier. Oh, he was looking for it. So that's what he wants to unleash. The 540 double tail of a late bar spin. I saw him start setting it up. He was trying to figure out his timing right there. He needs to figure out where his rotation is because it's crucial. If you're spinning too much, getting close to the landing, when you let go of the handlebars, that's when things are coming out of control. So watch this. Coming around twice, he's got to get the bike. Oh, you saw that little bit of stall right there. He moved his handlebars. He was just trying to play it out in his head. All right, how is this going to feel? What do I got to get ready for? 
And that's a lot to do. I mean, that's not a really small feature right there. So you don't have a lot of hang time to do all that combo. You're totally right. But we are back on course with Sandoval. And if he's going to attempt this trick again, I can't mentally handle this. <laughs> Here we go. Either we get this go Jack around. Oh, oh, that was so, that was even closer. It's twice he's put that to the pedal, Scotty. Oh, that's unbelievable. I had never thought a trick like that would be real life. But he is getting closer, and we still have a little under 10 minutes on the clock. Yeah, we just hit the halfway point, so there is a lot of time left here. Here we go with Canada's Mike Varga. We mentioned before, the last time this event was contested at X Games was Minneapolis 2019, and he walked out of there, your gold medal winner. Oh, the 1260! <laughs> he sent it! Oh, man, it looks like he's got a blowout as well in his tire. I don't know what the situation with his rim, but the good news is there's a lot of BMX friends here that have tools ready to go. They're going to get that bike rolling. But from what I can see, it looks like the back wheel is spinning, so that's good. So it might just be a blowout of the back tire. He just sent a 1260, though. This is crazy, guys. Well, if you're not here in person, no worries. You could buy your X Games merch on Amazon. Go ahead and visit the ESPN shop on Amazon to snag all your X Games apparel before it sells out. And that's at xgames.com slash shop. So as we mentioned, just under the halfway point here, Dave Mira, BMX Park, best trick, and you can see all hands on deck there, trying to get some flats fixed over there in the athlete staging what? area. Yeah, we got some professional hands on deck as well right there. We got fellow riders. Dude, Mike's got that. They're, he's in good hands. So we passed Jacob Beam here in the runner, and we go to J2E. They're still working on that back wheel. So what does J2E do here in attempt number three, Scotty? All right, he's on the two. Oh, Whoa. the nothing bro bike flip over the spine. Come on. That was picture perfect. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen wow. anyone do that. I'm sorry. Never been done in competition right here. Look at how perfect this was. Though. He popped up just enough. You can see he pulls back. The bike comes cl so close to his face. <laughs> Look at him just staring it down. He's laid out completely, pulling the bike back underneath of him, and he landed so perfect. That was amazing. <laughs> Let's go. And I'm talking to Dietrich. So good. So Jay having a good time with the boys up there in the deck after that one. Okay. Ryan Williams in for attempt number three. All right. So he got pretty close in the last one. He's trending in the right direction. We're all rooting for him right now. Oh, no. Oh, see, first things first, grab the bike, spun the front wheel, not even with his hand, he used his foot to do it, to make sure it was still rotating. So I think this is just frustration right now because he wants this trick so bad. He's feeling all right. He's going to be able to pull this, though. He's going to work out the kinks. He's the best at doing this. With eight minutes plus to go here, he should get another shot at it here. Bring Jacob Bailey back in. See, he's been eyeing something up over there on that open loop feature here on the Dream Yard course. This could be it right here. Looks like he was setting up twice. All right, once again, he's just eyeing it up right now. He's got something on his mind. And uh, you know what, I, I, speculation is he wants to do a double. <laughs> and I, I can't even fathom it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, you're coming off on the one side and you have to pull off and you're transferring back and over. You have to traverse over while going backwards into the landing. So Pat Casey, this is his party. We're in his backyard here at the Dream Yard. Here for Dave Mir of BMX Park, best trick. Working our way towards the seven minute mark here. So he's gonna head over to the big step up, which a lot of the guys are using. Oh, there's the 540 tail up. So I think I was right when saying that he wants to do the double tail up 540. So he sent the 360 double tail with. <laughs> it's okay, he's tough as nails. <laughs> you can see after a couple of these slams, it starts to take its toll. Everybody getting a little bit banged up here in this 20 minute jam session. So that was Daniel Sandoval we were looking at there. However, it's Jeremy Malat's turn on course here. 
Will we get the extra combo in the mix here, Scotty? Oh, hopefully he gets his timing sorted. Double tail. Oh, all right, because you see his foot floated off the pedal there, so he just wasn't secure to be able to do it. But he's getting towards the end here, so he every single time he's getting on the course, and this works for every rider, it's all about learning the position. It's all about muscle memory, understanding, okay, I figured out how much I got to spin off of this one, how much time I got to get this trick on. So every little bit is like reprogramming and learning the whole situation, breaking it down so that you can be better and more prepared the next time. And that left foot just floated away here. All right, Daniel Sandoval has come so close on these last couple attempts. He's gotten the feet to the pedals, but just ends up washing out. Could this be the one? Oh man, we are all got his back right now. I hope he can get this. Decade. Oh, okay. Oh, bummer. So he just wasn't able to secure the bike and get that downside tail up on that one. So, yes, he took a step back there. But the good news is, five minutes on the clock. We got another rider left. He's going to get another attempt at it. Yeah, but the way that the time has been trending here, once we get through Mike Varga here, it looks like everybody's going to get one more <laughs> shot at it. He made it though, he just said it. He had a blowout in his back tire and he's back on the course. He <laughs> sent the 1260 and this is a huge deal. Nobody is sending 1260s ramp to ramp. He can rotate better than anybody out there. He's so good at spinning, so hopefully he can time this right. Let's see. Oh, 1260! Oh! Oh, wow! Unbelievable! The first 1260 pulled in BMX. <laughs> no way! No way! You can hear the reaction from Andy Buckworth and Kevin Peraza there. I think his tire just blew up in the background, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Thank you. Another blow up. I'm glad it was after the trick, but look at this. He's got it coming around, rotating. He was able to hold on hold on to the bike, but you can see he had a lot of force coming down because he had to squeeze in the extra rotation, so he pulled out a little bit, but commanded the bike down, rode away. <laughs> look at the shock on his face. Oh, see, his reaction oh, says it all. I mean, he landed so hard and got the last bit of transition right there and hangs on. Mike Varga putting it down here. <laughs> We've got just under five minutes left on the clock. We are looking to hand out a gold pedal here. Who is going to get the win at Dave Mira's BMX Park Best Trick? We'll find out when we come back to Dream Yard. I just wanna take a flight sky high Now let time pass you by Just roll a couple grams Put your feet in the sand Yeah, Shred Egg to me is uh, super close to my heart. Obviously, man, I was a 12-year-old scooter kid at the skate park. Like, that's one of the number one targets when you go out of the skate park. So I, I copped a lot of hate and uh, a lot of grief from people at the skate park. But hey, you just got to learn to shred it. And I love that, that idea because that's exactly what I did. You know, I was that scooter kid out there just throwing, doing my tricks, having fun. You know, all I wanted to do was have fun and people would try to put you down because you were riding a scooter. But I just had to ignore that and look what come of it. I'm here at X Games. If I listened to the people that put me down, that put hate on me, I wouldn't be here at X Games today. So it's just about moving forward, just believe in yourself and do what you want to do. And uh, yeah, shred hate. So Ryan, referring to Shred Hate, the bullying prevention initiative that we have here at the X Games. If you would like to know more, you can log on to xgames.com and find out all about the Shred Hate initiative. Here at Pat Casey's Dream Yard, though, we are set to hand out the gold pedal at Dave Mira's BMX Park Best Trick. It is a 20-minute jam session. We are just under five minutes, and basically, we have no idea what the standings look like right now. It is winner take all. The judges do a big reveal at the end of the competition. We saw the 2019 winner, Mike Varga, lay down a 1260. However, this is still up for grabs here, Scotty. Jacob wants a piece of it. 
360 quadruple set whip. That time he got his feet on it. It looked like he was going to be able to ride away, but when you're doing a trick that laid out, there's so much momentum of the bike flipping around. It's hard to get back on your feet and keep that momentum flowing forward, and that's what he's experiencing right there on that smaller step-up landing. Well, he ended up missing that last round because he had to repair a flat tire there, so uh, getting back into the mix, uh, he skipped out on that last round. J2E <laughs> threw that... That bike front flip over the spine the last go around, that was insane. So he's heading a different direction. It looks like he might be going back over to the uh, quad tail, possibly. We'll see. Whoa! Oh, that was so close as well. Well, that's a bit complicated for me to break down right there. So he did a 360 tail, but it looked like he grabbed it into a Superman C crab. Alright, here we go. Here comes Ryan Williams. He's been uh, he's been trying to send it. The last couple of go arounds, so close. You can see he's a little torn up on that left elbow. Can he get it down here in this run? Is this going to be the one? Oh, he does. He does. Oh, oh, yes. oh my goodness! <laughs> Unbelievable, guys. You can see the carnage on that left elbow from the oh, last couple man, of attempts. But, but look at this trick. It's a 360 double backflip technically. And that time around, he he was able to command it perfectly in. Look at that. Can you imagine trying to ball up, spin, rotate? Remember to straighten out the last second there. Yes. He landed and he knew. He was like, finally. Yeah, that reaction says it all. He wanted that one so bad. I mean, you heard it say as he was like, wait, that took so oh, long. That's all right, uh. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted the whole time. Redemption, don't give up. Well, to tell the story here with Jacob Bailey, he's been eyeing up that open loop. We've seen him back through it, that backflip through it a couple of times here. And you talked about it earlier, earlier, Scotty. He's definitely eyeing something up through this open loop here. He definitely is, and like I said, he won. You know, I hate calling riders out in tricks, but at this point, I want to give him the credit due because he's eyeing up something that's pretty crazy. I think he wants to do the double back loop. That's what. That's. I feel pretty confident in saying that. It looks like he's going to take another run at this one. Yeah, he's re racking and coming back at it right here. He's been looking at it for a while here. Oh, oh, bummer. Oh, that poor knee. I feel terrible Damn for him it. because you're in the position where you have your chance. <laughs> oh, man. Is Pat going to send his son in for his run here? <laughs> I, I believe that's what is about to happen here. This is Pat's son, Reed. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> this is what BMX is about right here. Reed Casey taking the Rebel run for his dad. One of the coolest six-year-olds on the planet. I can confirm that one, guys. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's taking camera footage. Nice. This kid is definitely going to be in the X Games, and they're going to be announcing his name, and he will be competing for a medal one day. I can promise you that. Hey, he's been planning this out. He's been talking about the tricks he's going to do. He was talking to X Games research. He's got it all dialed in. Amazing to see. What an epic X Games moment right here. He said he was ready to stand in. He was an alternate. He said he was ready to go and meet him. And he's got the 360! <laughs> yes! That's a six-year-old right there. I don't think he's done. I think he's going to empty the whole bag here. I was going to say, he was out here riding all day long <laughs> yesterday. He was the last one off the course. He just didn't want to stop. <laughs> So there you go, you make your X Games debut at six years old. I think we just set a new record there, Scotty. <laughs> we'll have to get Vince from research on uh, on the phone for that one. That was absolutely insane. Oh, we're going to get replays oh, here. <laughs> now it's official. Perfect 360, though. He landed that one clean as could be, completely under control. Uh-oh. This, is this isn't good. Jeremy Malott. Guys. Let's 
So with under two minutes to go here. So Jeremy Mallott may have just thrown something down that we didn't see on our camera angle, and here it is. So did he get the 540 double tail up to Barsby? He, he did. did. I'm glad we we're able to give him the proper credit right there because yeah. the cameras were turned around. They weren't ready for him dropping in. That trick, no one else is doing that one right there. So huge, huge shout out to Jeremy Mala for pulling that amazing combination. Yeah, our apologies, Jeremy. We didn't have the camera footage at that point. So, wow, that was huge there. And we're getting word that with time winding down, this is going to be it. They're going to run out the run order. So this is the last chance for everybody. So that was absolutely huge there for Jeremy as we're looking at Daniel Sandoval here up on top of the quarter pipe. So we will finish it out right here with Daniel Sandoval and Mike Varga. This looks like it will be it for Dave Mira's BMX Park best trick in our quest for the gold pedal. He's been hunting this one down all night. Let's see if he can get this. Speed looks good. Decade. No, he wasn't able to do it. I don't want to take anything away from that, though, right there. He just did a beautiful decade to 360. That trick alone is unbelievable. Yeah. Tough break there for Daniel. So, look at Reed's back in for another run, Scotty. Of course he is. <laughs> it was such a ham at six years old. I love it. <laughs> But to be honest with you, Mike Varga landed his trick. I don't think Mike Varga was looking to take his run, so I think he subbed. I think he subbed Reed in again. I think that's what just happened. Yeah, I, after that tire blew again, I, he was like, you know what? I did what I need to do. I'm done. So basically, Reed's taking us out of competition here, putting on a show for everybody here at the Dream Yard. And I don't think anybody's going to argue that right there. Not at all. So why not? Let's give the kid another run. See what else he's got in the bag of tricks. <laughs> they said leading up to this, Reed has been convinced that the X Games has been here for him. <laughs> That's what we've heard, so <laughs> looks like he got his wish. I mean, what a crazy day of competition out here. Dave Mears, part best trick. And I mean, Mike Varga in that 1260, I mean, that was insane how hard he landed on that, how far he had to pull away. And I'm glad that we got to pay off Jeremy. Even though we didn't get to see it, it was awesome when we got the replay. That's right, and then we got Ryan Williams with the Aussie roll. So here we go, we're grouping everybody together. It's the big reveal. ever done to wood, wood to wood, basically. I did it a couple years ago to dirt, and then bringing it to wood is just... And the winner's gonna be Mike Varga with the 1260. So he got the win in 2019, and he gets it again here in 2021. Oh my! Double guts, baby! I'm so happy right now. This is crazy. No way. Back to back. Back to back. It's insane. Holy. When I tried it the first time, I landed so hard, like. So let's take a couple more looks at it here, Scotty, and pay it off. And we can't stress this enough. This has never been done in BMX. I talked to him before the competition. He's like, ah, I might throw the 1260. Well, what a day it has been for Mike Varga. But just look at how much speed in this spin. He's just looking and committing the whole time. Wow. So let's send it down now to Jack Matrani, who's with Mike Varga right now. Mike Crazy. Varga, are you kidding me? Congratulations, backing up your gold medal pedal right there with yes, the 1260 sir. never been done. Can you please take us through what happened from your first attempt to your second? You blew out the tire, you disappeared. Let's hear it from you. Basically, the first attempt, I just basically tried it, landed really hard, and my front wheel basically exploded. So my whole wheel was kind of just going like that. Like, I didn't even know if I could ride it or not, but ended up throwing a tube back in, went out, Tried it again and ended up conquering it. So back to back, two in a row, gold medals. Super excited, very happy with this. So I've been training for this trick for about three years now. So yeah, I'm very happy to get it. What I thought was most impressive though is like when you got here, you had a split second to be like, oh, I'm here, I'm ready for my run. You got on top, you dropped in, and you made history. Yes, sir. So much respect, congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Round thank two. you, thank you very, Mike very Barga, much. Mike Varga, ladies and gentlemen. Gold medal. 
Two in a row. <laughs> That was crazy. So a big two in a row there for Mike Bargan. Again, that was so much rotation right there. It's, it's, it's such a small lip right there, and it pulls so hard and manages to hang on. Taking a look at our host there, Pat Casey. What an epic day of competition here. Scotty, your final thoughts as we say goodbye here from Dave Mira's BMX Park Best Trick. I love this event because it brings out the best tricks in BMX, and my jaw is still, I need to be pulled back up. This was epic. Progression is the name of the game here at Dave Mira's BMX Park Best Trick, but at the end of the day, Mike Vargo walks away with another gold pedal.